In a heartbreaking turn of events for rock fans, legendary band Jane's Addiction has abruptly canceled their entire U.S. tour following an intense onstage altercation between guitarist Dave Navarro and frontman Perry Farrell. The unexpected fallout has left fans in shock, as the band's long-awaited reunion, which brought together its original lineup after 14 years, has now been cut short. With tensions boiling over during a Boston show and personal struggles becoming all too public, Navarro has now issued a devastating statement on the state of the band and the mental health crisis Farrell is facing. As the rock world reels from this news, it's clear that even icons can crack under pressure, and the future of Jane's addiction remains uncertain. The cancellation of Jane's Addiction's tour marks a significant and emotional blow not just for the fans, but for the members of the iconic band themselves. After a dramatic onstage clash between Perry Farrell and Dave Navarro during their performance of Mountain Song in Boston, the tension that had been brewing within the band reached a boiling point. Eyewitnesses describe a chaotic scene, where Farrell, visibly frustrated, began shouting at Navarro mid-performance. The dispute spiraled, ultimately leading to an aggressive physical confrontation that shocked concertgoers. Days later, Navarro broke his silence, offering a deeply personal and sorrowful explanation for why the tour would no longer continue. In his heartfelt statement, Navarro pointed to Farrell's ongoing mental health struggles as the reason for the decision, expressing concern not only for Farrell's well-being but for the safety of the entire band. For longtime fans, this announcement was a gut punch, as the anticipated return of one of Rock's most influential acts ended in heartbreak. Dave Navarro's statement paints a grim picture of the internal struggles that have plagued Jane's addiction behind the scenes. In the statement, Navarro didn't shy away from addressing the severity of the situation, sharing that the band's decision to cancel the tour stemmed from a continuing pattern of behavior linked to Farrell's mental health difficulties. His words reflect both deep concern and helplessness, as he admitted that there was no way forward that could guarantee the band's safety or ensure a quality performance for their fans. Navarro's closing sentiment, Our Hearts Are Broken, underscored the emotional toll the situation has taken on the band members, including bassist Eric Avery and drummer Stephen Perkins. What was supposed to be a triumphant reunion tour has become a tragic reminder of the personal battles many artists face behind the scenes. The unraveling of Jane's Addiction's tour came after a highly publicized onstage fight during their Boston show last week. According to attendees, the trouble began when Farrell, clearly distressed, felt that the band's stage volume was overpowering his voice. Fans near the front row reportedly heckled Farrell, complaining that they couldn't hear him, and that's when the lead singer snapped. His frustration mounted during the performance of Mountain Song, and by the time the band began playing Ocean Size, Farrell's anger had reached its peak. Witnesses described Farrell as appearing heavily intoxicated, struggling to keep up with the performance. Tensions between Farrell and Navarro boiled over, culminating in Farrell physically confronting his bandmate, with reports of body checking and punches being thrown. Farrell's wife, Eddie Lau, later took to social media to offer an explanation for her husband's outburst, revealing that he had been dealing with both tinnitus and a sore throat throughout the tour. Lau explained that Farrell felt his voice was being drowned out by the band's instruments and that this frustration, combined with heckling from the audience, led to the altercation. In her Instagram post, Lau also touched on the long-standing tension between the band members, calling it part of the magic that fueled Jane's Addiction's dynamic performances. However, on that fateful night, Farrell reached his breaking point, feeling disrespected both by his bandmates and the audience. She also revealed the physical confrontation between Farrell and Avery, describing how Avery had put Farrell in a headlock and punched him in the stomach after Navarro attempted to defuse the situation. Lau's account provides a glimpse into the chaotic and emotionally charged environment that has gripped the band, and her words paint a picture of a man on the edge, struggling to maintain control. For fans of Jane's addiction, the cancellation of the tour is a devastating blow. The band, which formed in 1985 and made waves with their unique blend of alternative rock and punk, has had a tumultuous history, with members coming and going over the years. This tour was meant to be a special occasion, marking the first time in 14 years that the original lineup, Farrell, Navarro, Avery, and Perkins, had performed together. But instead of celebrating their legacy, the tour has become a somber chapter in the band's storied history. 
longtime supporters, such as L.A. club promoter Dale Gloria, who helped discover the band in the 1980s, expressed their sadness at the current state of affairs. Gloria, who watched Jane's addiction rise to fame in the 80s, told the DailyMail.com that seeing Farrell's meltdown was heartbreaking for those who love the band. The hope, she said, is that Farrell gets the help he needs so that one day the band can recapture the magic that once made them legends. As Jane's addiction steps back from their tour, it's clear that the issues at play go far beyond the music. Perry Farrell's mental health struggles, which have now come to the forefront, are a reminder that even rock legends are not immune to personal battles. Dave Navarro's emotional statement, paired with Eddie Lau's candid account of what unfolded on stage, paints a picture of a band grappling with more than just creative differences. For now, the future of Jane's addiction remains uncertain, but one thing is clear, their legacy in rock music is undeniable, and their fans will be waiting, hoping that someday the band can heal and return to the stage. Until then, the world watches as Perry Farrell embarks on a new journey, one that will hopefully lead to healing, for both him and the band he helped build into a rock and roll powerhouse.